here we're going to solve an equation using what I call the five-step method. Um, this problem will contain each of the five steps. Uh, not every equation you solve does, but these five steps in this particular order really solve the majority of problems which call for you to find the value of a variable. So let's just take a look real quickly at what we have here, go over the steps. These are skills you should have. First is to distribute. Uh, the second is to collect like terms. This will be on the left side and the right side. Uh, if there's an opportunity to do that on either side. And then you have get all your variables on the one side of the equation. Okay. And gets in quotes just because I don't think of get as a math operation. It looks more like a, some type of trick when you do that, um, like getting all your letters on one side. But we'll see that in the problem in uh, just a second. Then these two are very similar in that they are both make uses of inverses. Number four is undo all additions and subtractions with the inverse. Undo all multiplications and divisions with the inverse is step five. Okay, so let's try and apply these, and I'll try and do these in a color-coordinated fashion. So step one here is to distribute, and we see that we're going to distribute in this part of the problem. So I tend to work left to right when I write, and I bring down the parts that I don't need to do. So we've got 3y. And we'll distribute, I'll include the sign, negative 2 times 3y is negative 6y. Then negative 2 times 7 is negative 14. And I will continue for the sake of good writing, bring the rest of the problem down. Sorry about the change of color there. I'll try and keep what's just brought down in black. And now I'm going to look to collect like terms on either side which on the left we see we've got two terms that are the same. Now I cannot include this term in it on the right because you can only collect on the same side. So we've got 3y minus 6y is in fact negative 3y. And again, I'll write the rest of the problem in black to show that I'm just bringing it down because I've not affected any of those parts of the problem. Okay, so the next we're going to look to get all of our letters on one side. And here if we notice we've got y's on the left and y's on the right. So what we're going to do here is, I'll probably, you can do either. You can t uh, get them all on the left side or the right side, but I will probably add 3y to both sides here in anticipation that it gets rid of the negative, and that is a decently good thing. So now I've got negative 14 equals 4y, and then bring down the plus 3. Now I'm only two steps away here, and we'll see that I'm going to undo all additions and subtractions. I see that this is a plus 3, so that's an addition. I will undo it with subtraction. We will see that I will get negative 17, be careful with the sign, equals 4y, and plus 3 minus 3 cancels. One last step, we're going to undo all multiplications and divisions. I have 4 times y, so I will undo that with division, and get negative 17 fourths equals y. And that, in fact, cannot be simplified any further. You could write it as a decimal, or you could write it in a mixed fraction. But that, in fact, is our answer. You could go on your calculator and check that. Or you could plug it back into the original and see if it gets to be a true statement.